Alright guys, it's um, Big Mike here. Um, I'm just... Oh, phone's going off. I'm just going to be doing a quick review, well, overview, I guess, of the Gary's Mod 30, uh, 13 Beta. Um, this is the main menu so far. There isn't any option for options, um, so to change my resolution because it loaded in 80, 8, 6, 600 by 800 I had to set the startup options to uh, width and height blah 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 so there's an option down here for sandbox you can I'm not sure if you'll be able to change that or not I guess oh the background oh when you click the background changes alright that's kinda cool uh, the Steam Workshop, it just takes you to the in-game Steam Overlay. And sorry for my bad voice, I've got a, um, a cold, or I don't even know, I think it's a cold. Um, the news page, demos and saves, so like all your creations, you can just save it in-game and it will pop up there. All the mounted games, you can just uh, say we want Age of Chivalry, just drag that onto there. And it's done. Manage add-ons, I don't have any add-ons but this is where they'd be um, start new game, find modes player. I'm just going to go on a single player for now and show you the options alright so we're um, we're in game everything uh, pretty much looks the same um, I don't know if it's just in my opinion but the graphics looked a little more optimized, they look a little bit better but I don't know, I think that might just be me. I don't know. Um, first thing we notice in the Q menu is they've got this new setup on the left here. I'm not sure a lot of people are going to like it because I liked how I could choose the most items right at the top and I could choose like um, order it by letters and that. But uh, you can't order it by numbers, like the amount of props in each category. And then, um, first one is Counter Strike. Uh, there's menu saying hostages, play models, guns, and shit. First thing I noticed that you could do in these menus was you could move the stuff around. Um, it does kind of bug up a little. Uh, but you can press Shift and click on the items. Like so, you can click on all the items. You can drag as well. Oh shit! I shouldn't have done that. And then put them down back in their respected area. If I want the flash grenade there, I can have the flash grenade there, the fuse kit, and whatever. And once you finished, you can also down here. There's a tiny little button. Um, when it pops up, you can click on the thing like say we go into special effects and we uh we want it to be a female sign right I don't want that actually a flag let's have a flag um you just press save changes and the next time you load the game up that will be a flag and I did that previously with a purple and red texture square for useful comic props um spawning items is the same as usual but when you click on it, uh, there's a kind of outer line that comes around it. I don't know if you can see that. And when you right click, it goes green around the whole prop, and not just the area in which you're clicking. Now, there's one thing that with tool guns. Like, say we're, uh, so we get a hover ball. And I, w I was spent about. 10 minutes yesterday, like 15 to 20 minutes, trying to figure out why the hoverballs weren't working. And it says up 8, down 5. So I was pressing up 8 and down 5 on my numpad, and that didn't work. So I pressed 8 on my keyboard, and it worked. So 8 and 5 on the actual keyboard works, which I'm not sure people are going to like. You can change it to any key like so I change it to Q well actually I better change that so it's now H so I press H to go up and 5 and blah blah, 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 blah. 
You can obviously change it to your numpad keys, but it will end up saying key KP left arrow and stuff, so it, it's kind of annoying. So it's hard to understand what keys you're actually supposed to be pressing. But I'm sure people are going to get used to that. Uh, but the feature of moving things around, I can't see people using a lot. I mean, everyone got used to uh, where all the items are. I don't think they're going to want to start changing and stuff. But I guess that's just me. I didn't find that helpful at all. But stuff is pretty much the same. There was also another thing that I did quite like. Like, say you wanted to have a pole and you didn't want to get the upright tool you could press the C button and when you hover over the key with your with the prop with your mouse you can right click click keep upright or right click and remove so that's now upright you can also remove it um, and there's drawing so you can show the FPS so at the top it shows my FPS mine Crafted tea. Okay, I haven't actually seen this. Not sure what it's doing. Right, okay, so it just blocks everything up. I'm not. Right, that's kind of a weird feature. I didn't actually notice this before. Just turns everything into block. Uh, I think it's kind of like a texture overlay or something, but I don't like that. Turn that off. There we go. There we go. Um, wireframe, I'm not going to turn that because I guess you know what that is. Uh, and if you've got NPCs, oh yeah, and the NPCs are down here as well, not up here. Um, and as well with weapons and the post processing and entities and that. So if I go, let's just say this geezer, we can turn off their thinking. Um, same thing with in the Gmod 10 the body's still I'm not what the fuck yeah they still bug out <laughs> when it comes to doing stuff like that um, another thing that I did l see while they'd have to get it to work but under entities there's Half-Life 2 weapons um, there was the Annabelle. I don't know why I just got a massive FPS drop there. But, you can get the Annabelle now. And when I go to pick it up, it just classes it at 357. Like, so I don't actually have the weapon anywhere. Which is kind of annoying. Up the grenades and slams this time. Did these slams work? I didn't actually. Alright, okay. I'm right clicking and left clicking, they're not exploding. I don't know how they work. As well as the NPCs, they've now got combined gunships. They got striders. Everything seems to be loading quite quick. They've got roller mines. Um, the original Gmod, uh, turrets, dropships, and helicopters.
Um, that's pretty much it. I mean, they haven't added a whole lot of new things, which I can see. If I've missed anything, please feel free to tell me. Um, the map hasn't changed at all. I mean, there's this room. Turn the lights off. You can change the color of the room. So this is still good for like filming, like green screening, etc. Um, is the jalopy still there? No, apparently not. There isn't a vehicles menu which I just noticed. The post processing just like stuff like this. Um, exactly what you'd use to get in the menus up here. Which aren't there anymore. I don't know, I kind of liked having them up there. I guess that is just my opinion once again. Uh, the texture eyes, which do look kind of cool. Black and white kind of effect. Faggot effect. That looks kind of cool. So yeah, I mean... Gary did say he's still going to work on it. Things, almost everything is going to be changed. I'm actually kind of disappointed with. Well, yeah, I am kind of disappointed with this. I mean, nothing really has been done to call it a new game. Um, I mean, surely it could have just been updated, but I guess a whole new game would have been good because of all the mods in it and stuff. But I mean, I'm kind of looking forward to see what they do final piece is um, I don't know what Xeno Clash is but I can't spawn anything from it so yeah I mean if you have any questions or, or something just just give me just give me a message put in the comments or whatever and I'll get back to you as soon as I can just watching guys